Welcome to part four as I conclude my journey of what many say is the most beautiful country of the world. This is the little Greek island of Antiparos, an island no one really heard of until Tom Hanks bought his summer home here. Now it's sadly mid-October here in Greece and a lot of islands like this one um, are sadly starting to close up for the winter now. This is beautiful old town Paris. Now a lot of people say Naxos and Paros are very similar islands and I can't disagree with that. Um, but a lot of people say they prefer Paros over Naxos, but I've got to disagree. I kind of there's something about Naxos that was just more cleaner, the, the, the building's a lot more um, I found it just um, just more of an attractive island. It's a little before 8 a.m. on Thursday morning. Uh, my next overnight stop is in the lovely island of Syros. However, there's no direct ferry to get there, so I've got to change in Dinos. So this is the island of Tinos, where I've now got about four hours to explore into my connecting ferry to my overnight stay in Syros. Carpet in the street, it's a new one to me. So one kind of downside of island hopping into Tinos um, is there's nowhere here you can store luggage. So I've got to cart it round with me all day until my ferry at three o'clock. Um, however, I'm so glad for this summer, I'm upgraded to a hybrid backpack 
that's got wheels. There's a proper little maze of kind of back streets and everything. However, it's hard to actually get a decent view over the entire town, even though you're so high up here, because there's so many kind of blocked buildings everywhere. is just insane for stairs. Now I wasn't sure what to expect when I came to Syros. I was expecting some very simple like Naxos or Paros. Um, however, there's a very heavy French and Italian influence here that makes it a very unique island for this area. There be thunder and light and there be a storm brewing. That's a little after eight o'clock. Um, there were a couple of places that I did actually want to see, but after that last thunderstorm, my feet are soaked, I'm tired, and cold, so I'm going back to the hotel. So this is it, last ferry of the trip. Next up, Mykonos. Now, I wasn't actually sure visiting Syria was going to be a good idea for the unpredictability of the weather. Um, however, I'm glad I took the gamble. As you can see, right now it's supposed to be thunderstorm with good mining and it's clear blue sky, even though the sea is a little rough.
Welcome to Sunny Minos, Reese's Playground for the rich and famous. Now, trying to find cheap accommodation right in central Mykonos is not easy. Uh, and this place I've checked into tonight is actually the most expensive place I've stayed during my trip here. However, for a mere 45 euros, I've now checked into this wonderful little traditional Greek maisonette. Now, once you come to Mykonos, to see all the fuss is about, and it is very, very beautiful. It's just a little over commercialised for my liking, though. Now this last week hasn't been about seeing as much of the islands that I have visited over the last week. It's about just getting a little bit of a taste though, you know. It's kind of like a Chinese buffet, you know, you kind of like have a pick at everything and then decide what you want the second time round. Um, but I've had to pick up my favourite as the islands. Yes, Santorini and Mykonos are very, very beautiful. Um, however, I love Naxos um, purely because it's still got its wonderful Greek charm and hasn't really been taken over by commercialism yet. That's it. Game over. So after three months of Greece, I'm finally back in the sunny UK. Greece, see you in 2022.